the chess game that Dollary Donut began in her move to move up the moving ranks began to take its toll on her new car and implied new car smell. This was not the worst of it. She had to deal with the husband that played songs of infidelity and immorality. One could say she learned a thing or two from him or that birds of a feather sit on leather. At the start of her life, she began to see that if she could make the children regurgitate and pretend like she was trying to make a good meal, she would be rewarded disgustingly. Spillery knew the game and how to play it. The stars that twinkle, the bags that crinkle, and the sprinkles that get sprinkled were aligning just perfectly for a takeover that we haven't seen in many fake years, or whatever fake unit of so-called time we can muster up this side of yesterday today. Who knows? <sighs> Dillery paid her dues, and the fake unit of measurement had come for her to put a ring around herself and emulate a certain celestial organ in order for the recipe to taste just right. The erection is about to happen, and we know very little about the unstickiness of her molasses-like behavior. A U-storm of me's began to rain down an utterance of fake sociable charades, the battle tongue of a war crime that only the initiates could pull off whistle the flavor of recipes and figure out an honorado of two little men, one of which was short and the other was short too. Celery began to feel sluggish and think that a double execution tool of Christ could be happening to her. The fear that this left in the mind flop left a residue of cleanliness in schoolmates. If she can't make it, who could? Perhaps the retarded dog she ate for dinner could and also teach her a thing or two about manners, and also had to dig up earth on command. 